Hello and welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today I have three fun projects for you made from th three of the same thing. Uh, these are DIYs that are coming to you from only Timu products, except for the paint and the paintbrushes. For the first one, we're going to start out with this plain balsa wood box and we're going to give it some paint. Now today I'm going to use Tr Kills Tribute Color Sample in Satin. This is called Antiquity. I got this off from Amazon because it's a close color to the mushroom color that I just love, that I love using. So I got this one and another one, and this one's pretty darn close to, to that, but I don't think it's quite the dark color of the mushroom from Folk Art Paint. But we're going to give this a full coat of paint. Uh, I, I think one was enough. It's pretty thick paint. It went on very nicely and covered really well. So I just did one coat. I'll put a link down in the description of this paint so that you can check it out if you'd like to. So the next thing I did was I took a stencil again from Timu and this I just love. All these products that I use from Timu will be linked down in the description as well. I was not filming when I did this for some reason, somehow, but anyway, uh, I'm going to take black paint, just regular folk art paint, and I'm going to put this down on my box and just make a design with these flowers. I love this stencil. It's so pretty and simple, uh, but it just is, it's just so pretty. So I'm doing uh, the mushroom antiquities color underneath and then the black over the top I think it makes it look very sharp and um, kind of antique. Just taking a sponge and sponging that on over the top and I think that looks so cute. I left a space above the top in the corner because I am going to be uh, putting a word on there with some stamps that I got from Timu as well. So now I flipped it onto its back and I'm doing, kind of making the flowers go up the sides and the front as well. There are several sales going on on Timu right now. There's a big spring sale. And I also have a 30% off coupon for first time users that'll be down in my description. This is the sediments stamp from Timu. And I'm going to be picking a phrase on here that I want to put onto the top of my box. I like the Just Breathe part uh, sediment there. So I'm going to take my sponge again and some black paint and sponge that onto the words and put that right on the box. These little words are more for uh, making tags and small little little things like this. Um, they're not very big as you can tell by my hand, but they are very nice. Great for card making, tags, uh, anything like that. In my Timu haul that I did not too long ago, I showed you these cute little cubes that I got. I got a 10 pack and said I wanted to use them as feet on some projects. Well, these are the projects I want to use them on. So I'm just taking my sponge again because it's already got the black paint and I'm already messy. So I'm just going to sponge those with black paint and then I will sand them down once they're dry before I put them on to my little box. I'm taking a wet paper towel or a damp paper towel and I'm just uh, brushing back some of that, uh, wiping back some of that paint. Uh, I'm trying to make it look distressed and aged and this works really well and I wasn't sure how well the sandpaper would work. I didn't want it to powder and make a big mess and have black splotches all over it. But it seemed to work out really well. I'm using a little bit of sandpaper lightly and I just went over the latch and then again over the flowers to 
just kind of tone them down a little bit and look a little more aged. And now I'm taking some black paint over the latch and just giving that an aged look as well. I'm using my Gorilla wood glue to attach the little cubes to make my feet on my box. I add a little bit of glue to the, to the little cube and to the box just to give it a good hold. I did sand down just a little bit to give um, the glue something to attach to on the box and the, the little block. I thought that uh, that would help it hold really well. I'm taking some antique wax on a sponge and going around the edges just a little bit to make them make the box look a little bit aged and old. Uh, so I just am just kind of tamping it on there and then I'll go back with my rag and wipe it back and blend it in with the paint. So it will give it a little bit of a, a darker spot here and there. I go, I work my way in little by little and do a little bit at a time. There we go, I just wipe it back. And it just gives it a little bit of a darker aged look. I also did around the latch to make that look aged and like somebody had been opening and closing it for years. Um, and then around the sides uh, to create that aged look on those as well. I thought it was missing something and it needed a little bit more to the box. So I took uh, one of my paint brushes with a little bit of black paint on it and just went along the edges and gave it like a little line of black paint. So here you can see I'm just going, I opened the box there and just did the top. And it just gives it, I don't know, more definition, almost like when you're coloring and you color the outside lines as well. I think it made it pop really nice. There we go. See what you think. Here's another plain box, the exact same thing as before, and we're going to stain this one with my special stain. This is antique wax watered down with a little, probably about a tablespoon of black folk art paint or whatever color paint you'd like to use. And I mix it all together really well and it creates a nice dark stain that leaves uh, dark spots and light spots on your wood and brings that grain out really nicely. So that'll be the base of this box and then I'm going to go ahead and use a, another stencil that I got from Timu. I'm really enjoying some of these uh, Timu products for crafting. There's some really great prices out there and making it a lot easier for us to make a little bit of money when we resell the us as resellers like to do. So this is a 16 pack with uh, their six inch uh, stencils. And this pack I really love with the bees on it. It is just so cute. I'll have a link to that stencil down in the description if you're interested in it. Now I'm gonna use folk art paint in the color sunflower and I'm just dabbing it on to this stencil. I taped it on to help me so that it wouldn't move because I am kind of going at an angle with this stencil. It just helps hold everything down. And so I just go over the whole B with that yellow paint. So once I'm done stenciling that, I'm gonna hit it with my heat gun just for a minute or just for a second, not too close and not too long because it will melt and disfigure your stencil if you leave it on there. It is plastic. So I'm just lifting up my tape just a little bit and I'm setting my stencil down 
uh, offset from where I stenciled it before. So this is going to be a little bit of a shading effect. I have this uh, watered down, what's the name of this? This is Waverly Maze color yellow, and it's just a different, a little bit of a different shade of yellow. And so I'm going over my stencil again with that color and just offsetting it a little bit. And then I'm going to dry it with my heat gun and then wipe the back of my stencil to make sure there's nothing wet. And I'm going to set it back down where the original stencil was. I don't know. I'm just playing around with these stencils, so it's nothing that I've seen anybody do. I'm not trying to create something totally different, but I was trying to be a little bit different with this stencil. So now I'm taking some black paint and I'm just lightly dabbing it all over the stencil so that it looks a little bit aged over the yellow. And then when I pick it up, it's going to um, just give it a different effect and make it pop a little bit. So I just hit it with the heat gun and now I am sanding it back to see what it looks like. I think it came out pretty cool. I kind of like the 3D effect that it has and it looks aged without even sanding it but I wanted to dull it back just a little bit. Also I was trying to figure out what else I wanted to do on it. I had an idea to take the word B and tape that down and put that on there. So. That's what I decided to do. I'm going in the same order with the sunflower paint and then the maize and then I'll do the black over the top. Some people ask why I do certain things and sometimes it's you know why I paint things the way I do. Sometimes I don't have a plan for my creations. I just have an idea and then I come up with uh, as I go along. So I may paint something or stain something and then I may turn around and paint over it maybe because I want to distress it I don't know who, who knows why I do what I do but uh, it just is what's in my head and it it comes out little by little not always all at once so that's why I do what I do if that makes any sense <laughs> I did a little bit offset my stencil you want to make sure that your stencil on the back is dry when you do this so that you don't get any weird uh, spots from it being wet underneath from your, the first time you used it. And just going over it with that sunflower, or this one's the maze. And now I put it back where it originally was and I'm going over it with the, the black paint to give it some aged look and just something different. So then I wanted to use uh, something on the sides and the front. So I am putting on this little honeycomb piece here. I'm just going to kitty corner it and go right across the, the opening of the box so that when you open it, it's still on the bottom as well, just to make it look cool. Now I'm not going to do the two-tone effect or the three-tone effect, I should say, on this one. I just hit it with the sunflower color and then I dry that a little bit and add the black over the top. This one's going down in the other corner just to give it some some fun and whimsy. Once it's dry and it is uh, sanded down the way I want, I'm just taking some antique wax and going over the top of it to seal it and give it a little bit of an aged look with that as well. Then I'm going to take my little um, sponge that I had been using and with a little bit of black paint going over the edges and just highlighting the edges of the box and making those look, it kind of makes it look a little distressed. So it's pretty neat. So now I'm taking the sunflower paint and I'm painting some little balls or uh, beads that I got from, this is from Timu as well, and I'm going to put those on for the feet.
starting out with another plain balsa wood box and this one I'm going to stain with the antique wax so it's a little bit of a different colored stain and just putting it on there and then wiping it back we're going to do the whole box top bottom sides everything then I'm going to take my Vaseline or my petroleum jelly and I'm just going to use that as a resist on the paint that I'm going to put on the top so I'm just wiping it on here and there just to uh, resist the paint that I'm going to put and when I wipe it back it'll show that really cool stained look underneath. This is the Folk Art Paint in Forest Moss. I'll have a link down in the description on that as well. And I'm just taking some of that paint and I'm brushing it onto my box. Now I'm going to do two coats on this. I don't wipe it after the first coat. You just put two coats over the top. You're going to find that it's, it's going to resist and not want to go in spots where you put that uh, petroleum jelly and that's the way it's supposed to work. It's fine. And yes, it does kind of move around a little bit and you'll move some here and there. But for the most part, it's right where you put your, your resist. So now I'm just wiping the box back and it's going to pull off any paint where that petroleum jelly was and leave some distressed looking spots. So I love how this came out. So pretty. I love this green and I love it with the uh, stained look underneath. Those two colors go just beautifully together. So I'm just taking my sandpaper and lightly just touching up spots. This is a little bead pack that I purchased from Timu and I am going to use those as my little feet. So I painted them in the moss green and I'm using my Gorilla Wood Glue to put those on the bottom. I purchased this ribbon from Timu. This is my very first order and I saw this ribbon and I thought it was beautiful. I love the green in it and it reminded me of the moss, the forest moss paint. Uh, the leaves are very, very close to that color. So I wanted to get this and use it in something and this is what I'm going to use it on. So I'm just going to glue this to the top of the box right across the top with some hot glue. As I'm doing these projects, I'm looking at the boxes thinking, what would somebody do with these uh, once they're all decorated? You know, you could give them as a gift to someone. Uh, it's definitely a really cute little trinket box. It would be a great gift box. You could put a gift card in there or a necklace that you purchase for somebody. These would be really cute for that. I even thought maybe to keep seeds in. A few packs to give as a gift or even to put them away. Yeah, I think a few garden seed packets would fit perfectly in this box. Um, I think that it could be used for many different things or even just a riser to um, just to add to a vignette. So I'm just going to tie the middle of this ribbon and make it look like it's a kind of like a bow and I just use a little bit of twine for that. And then I'm going to glue it down the rest of the way. Here's a little package of pre-made flowers that I got from Timu as well. I purchased these in my first purchase from them. And I just love the different variety. You have the bow and you have the lacy ones. And then you have just the jute. So I really like this pack. The problem that I had with it was trying to pick out the right one that I wanted to add to the top of my box. So I just uh, took each one and set it on top and tried to find out what the best looking one would be. I decided on the big jute flower and I'm going to glue that to the very top where I made the little uh, tie in the middle of my ribbon and that's going to finish off my box.
I hope you enjoyed my Timu DIYs today. Tell me which one down in the comments if you had a favorite. And don't forget to go down in the description and check out all the links that I have to the products that I used today. And I will have Amazon links to the paints that I used as well. And the 30% off discount code. Thanks for watching.